Saluto, parolas Tomaso. Bon venon a la nuna, a mi diru practico pri Esperanto, ca ni faros calcan afero in Duolingo, do mi bon venigas tion, avin, a yes, ca ni faras tion ciun jaudon, a pardon, ciun semainon, cutime mercredon, a mi pensas pri jaudo, char facte mi clopodis fari novan filmeton por morgao, ca mi decidis hodiao ca ne eblos ca mi finu gin giusta tempe, do mi pripensos tion, ca ni discutos tion pli poste. Bone, do ien la plano por hodiao, unua mi volas bonvenigi vin, a parte se vi estas nova. So, there's the beep telling me that I'm live, and I should join the call on my on my other channel, but I'm not going to because I'm already here. This is the Esperanto Variety Show. Every week, we're um, for the last few weeks, we've been doing live practice in Esperanto, uh, just basically going through Duolingo. I'm going to um, join the call, see who's there. Let's see. While I'm while I'm on my way there, I just want to mention that tonight at uh, 8:30 Eastern time. I'm going to be doing a a live stream just like this one, or very similar to this one, except for Spanish. And I have the uh, pleasure of announcing that the guest for the Spanish podcast, I'm sorry, Spanish Hangout, is going to be Rafa, who is also a contributor to the uh, Esperanto Spanish course, the, the, the Duolingo course about Esperanto from Spanish and a uh, native speaker of Spanish. And so he's going to be helping out, helping me out with my Spanish tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And uh, yeah, so I'm thinking probably this time next week we will also repeat this. So come back every week um, for Esperanto. And let me bring that, get that started. Bear with me one minute. Uh, if you guys are watching the replay, you can skip ahead a few seconds. Hit the L key, we'll skip you ahead 10 seconds. And once again, I got to remember to mute my sound. I couldn't find a way to do that in advance, so apologize the interruption. And I'm just going to adjust this so I can see the chat better. As we go, I see Esperanto, Esperanto. I laugh every time I see his name. Miridas chiam kiam mi vidas tiun nomon. Esperanto, Esperanto, charmi mal bone, said Iom sukcese povas legi la, la rusan alfabeton. Do mi tre zorgeme legas do e, espe, esperanto. Kaj bone mi komprenas la unuan vorton kaj kio estos la dua. La dua vorto estas esperanto. I esto tial mi ridas ciam kiam mi vidas la nomon esperanto, esperanto. Bone, ni havas homoin el Germanio. Holi, re bon venon. Estas bone ciam. Vi estas tre fidela spectanto. Zachary Snyder, mi pensas que vi estas nova nomo por la viva el sendo do bon venon. Saluton, kai guten tag. Yes, kai nun. Hodia estas la el sendo pri esperanto. Yes, hispana curso per esperanto. Do efective, eblas fari la inversan arbon en Duolingo. Kai se krom tio mi ne stias efektive do tio esas vere interesa afero fidia fidia la kiel hundo amuze. Čar juste hodia mi pripensis čar mi volis montri al vi kiel aboni al kanalo. Kai mi intensis montri al vi kiel aboni al nu al kiu kanalo mi volas montri. Čar a uve mi juste fermis la mal juste on fenestron diable. Yes, mi vere estas aspertulo, profesiolo, ha, 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 pri tio. Bone, se mi volis montri al vi mian kanalon, facti do jen, mi montros al vi, do mi, mi montros al vi mian kanalon. Kaj, ja, facti mi volas, yes, do mi volas montri al vi al kiu mi abonas, do iu just petis pri hispana kurso, pri la... Esperanto, Esperanto diris ke li volas Diablo, ne havas en havon. Do lingvo lerneo ja estas kanalo kiu iam havis kurson pri la hispana, sed verŝajne li decidis ke ĝi ne estas bona. 
Se boni, do, se, se, se vi volas aboni al, al Esperanto Variety Show, mi petas ke vi ankaŭ klaketu sur la sonorilon, tiel, kiel mi ĵus faris. Tiel, vi povas ricevi anoncojn, kiam mi far, havas novajn aferojn, kiam mi faras vivan elsendon. Do bonvenon al Esperanto Variety Show. Kaj hodiaŭ mi volas komenci per respondoj al demandoj. Uh, mi malfermis kelkajn uh, respondojn antaŭe, kaj um, mi simple volas respondi al tiuj demandoj. Kaj mi decidis, ke hodiaŭ mi respondos voce, kaj espereble mi povos meti ligilon al la filmeto al tiu respondo, kaj la persono povas spekti la, la parton de la filmeto kun la respondo. Tio estos interesa afero, mi volis provi ĝin. Bone, do jen la frazo. Li ne havas sukeron por fari biskvitojn. He doesn't have sugar to make cookies. Kaj jen nova demando. La demando estas, is por necessary? Ĉu necesas uzi por en tiu frazo? Kaj jen la frazo. Li ne havas sukeron por fari biskvitojn. Do la demando estas, ĉu la jena frazo estas bona? Line havas sukeron fari biskvitojn. Is that sentence good? Line havas sukeron fari biskvitojn. In fact, por is necessary here. Uh, the, uh, it means in order to. And uh, so, yeah, so when we say you have sugar to make cookies, it means the same thing as he does not have sugar in order to make cookies. And that's a pretty good rule of thumb there. If you can say in order to, in place of two, then you almost certainly need por. Let's take a look at the next question. Um, the person says, this is John. I'm going to answer this entirely in English. John B53601 says, it sounds like the accent in this recording is on me in North America. North Americo. Is that correct? Well, North Americo it should be, right? Hodio mi visitas Nordamerikon, right? It should be on the second to last syllable. Uh, sometimes we can't tell which sound file is being uh, played, and sometimes it won't play because I know they've be the people at Duolingo have been doing things behind the scene um, and allowing the contributors uh, to add their own sound directly. So I'm not sure, but let's see what happens when we play this. What would I just do? Dang it. I don't know. Oh, I clicked on a word instead of a... All right. Let's try this again. It sounds like the accent... Okay, so I've got my little clicker on there. Let's try this. Oh, yes. This is one of the new um, sound recordings. Let's, hear, let's see if we can hear that again. Turn my volume up. Whoop. Up, 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 up. Try this again. Jodio mi visitas Nordamericon. Yes, Nordamericon. Jodio mi visit. You know, it sounds okay to me. Let's listen to it. I'm going listen to it again. Jodio mi visitas Nordamericon. Yeah, I think um, if you're hearing the woman's voice, there's a sort of an echoey woman's voice on there. Um, that uh, it actually does sound correct to me. Um, she has a slight American accent, but it's a certainly good pronunciation there. Hodiao mi visitas Nordamericon. Next question. Or this might not be a question. I'm coming up on my one year this is, uh, anniversary since starting to learn. At first, I spent a lot of time, a lot of my time learning Esperanto, hours upon hours. But since school got in the way, it's dwindled to less than an hour each day. I use Duo online dictionaries and occasionally memorize or learn, but not often. Well, I guess that's not really a question. I should have screened these ahead of time. The question is, how long does it take you to learn Esperanto per day? All right, so let's... Um, here's another one. My Esperanto dictionary by J.C. Wells says that view can spectate... Uh, can translate to specti, but using view in my answer for this question was dinged by duo. I protest. And that's from Signoro Diego. All right, let's read the sentence here. Oni uzu specialen okuvitroin por specti eclipson de la suno. One should use special eyeglasses to watch a solar eclipse. 
Yeah, I th- I think I've actually brought this sentence to the attention of the uh, the course administrators. I'm I'm not very fond of it. Specti um, means to spectate. It means to watch like a sporting event, watch a um, movie, watch TV, or what's the other thing you can watch? A play, something in the in the theater, right? So specti, something that you watch as a spectator. Um, it's a little bit funny to imagine that you're spectating the eclipse. So uh, whether you can say you're viewing an eclipse, watching an eclipse, um, I don't know that necessarily even the John Wells is here. The bigger question is whether specti is the right word there. All right, next question. I prefer that we paint the house green. Where's the new question? Uh, three weeks ago, three weeks ago. These don't look like new questions. All right, well, that's a good sentence to me. Has some good answers on there. I, mi preferas que ni farbula domon verda. That actually sounds good to me. All right, this, I like this comment. Q contribuis al chitiu curson de mando signo. Mi amas ilin. Do mi pensas que eble ili amas vin? Yes, do ni. <laughs> and why do you love everybody? Because of the sentence. Q stelis chion de tiu laboristo. Who stole everything from that worker? All right. Oh, here's somebody saying they're going to watch the uh, Spanish live stream today. I hope they do. That's why we do it. And is there another question? English is always, this is from Pogo Monster. English is always the problem. It's just a terrible language in general. <laughs> I can't tell whether that person's making fun of me or uh, agreeing with me or thinks they're agreeing, agreeing with me or what. Let me see. What did I say to invite that kind of comment? The trouble here is when we try to map one language one-to-one with another language. And the meaning of the English word warm depends a lot on context, as does whether something of high temperature gets called hot or warm. The trouble here is English. English is always the trouble. Yep. Yeah, that's certainly not <laughs> certainly not what I meant. Um, yep, I bet you if we uh, looked at this profile, it would have been created two days ago. And uh, anyway, and that has to do with this question and this answer. Here's the sentence: La vetero estas varma. The weather is hot, and I see this a lot. People see the word people see the word varma, and because it looks like the word warm. They feel like it should always be translated as warm. That's not actually true. Varma is the, the temperature of fire. Um, the, the feeling you get when you're touching or near a fire. Um, and I think it depends on uh, what we need, what we say. And weather is often described as varma. Even when we mean it's like as hot as I can take. Oh, yeah, it was so incredibly warm I couldn't take it, right? Um Anyway, so here's the here was the first original question was if varma is hot, then what is the word for warm? Varma too, probably, and I voted that one up because I thought that was a great answer. Okay, let's keep going down the tab here. Oh, I think we're coming into the point where this. Yep. All right, I'm going to close this because I have too many windows open, and I'm going to switch over to Esperanto. We'll get started in some exercises in just a bit. I'm going to check by and see who's in the chat. If anybody has any specific requests, any questions that you're working on. All right. I already see some people giving me a hard time for speaking English. And uh, this happened in a recent, another recent um, live stream. Why are you not speaking uh, English? And uh, I think... Um, I think especially it was the, uh, the A1 Spanish uh, live stream. People were giving me grief for that. And, uh, you know, quite honestly, um, if you guys, if people are, are fluent in Esperanto and are here to listen to Esperanto, um, come back tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> we'll have something in Esperanto tomorrow. We have new videos every Thursday. Uh, this is the Esperanto course for English speakers. And I am answering questions that people asked in English. 
So um, there we go. All right, and I think I am going to speak Esperanto for the next few minutes. So if you're here for English and are afraid to hear Esperanto, that's the way that goes too. All right. The Bonne Doniam Salutis, Esperanto, Esperanto. Zachary Snyder, Saluton, CJ. Kai vi estas fidel aquí el hundo? Vi studas la germana. Yes, so Holly, Kai, Holly estas fidel aquí el hundo? David Crook, mi sentas min fama. Ev tu mi legis vian demandon, ev tu evletia mi ne bonne comprenas. En kiu urbo vi lojas? Bonne do vi parolas unu ala lia. Ah, Angelo! Yes! Do mi efektive havas mesajon por vi, char mi parolas pri vi en preskaut ciu viva el sendo. Kaj ni vidu, char Angelo diris, ke li havas pli da poentoj ol mi. Do mi ciam klopodas kapti lin. Kaj mi pensas, ke por la semajno, do jen mi, mi havas kvincent poentoj en ci semajne. Do mi pensas ke mi verŝajne estas antaŭ li, sed tio estas nur por la semajno kaj hodiaŭ estas nova tago. Sed por la monato mi kaptos vin, mi preskaŭ certas ke mi kaptos vin. Do se vi, Angelo, se vi volas resti antaŭ mi, vi devas pli diligente labori en Duolingo, ĉar mi venas malrapide por pasi vin. Sed por la, por ĉiam, fakte, Tio, mi havas longan distancon por atingi lindo. Jen mi, Tomaso A. Kaj estas kelkaj liaj personoj. Kaj jen Angelo. Do, mi kaptos vin, sed ne tuj. Ni vidos, efektive. Jason, ah, jes. Do, bonan vesperon. Do, en Rochestro estas postag mezo. Se bone, se estas vespero en Hungario, do Cristina, saluton, CJ, bone, do, se vi havas demandon, yes, do tiu virino ja estas Ruth, au Margo estas xia esperanta nomo, do Ruth KC en Duolingo, mi kutime ne diras tion, ĉar mi ne scias ĉu ŝi volas esti anonima. Se mi efektive antaŭ ĝuas revidi ŝin dum nask post kelkaj monatoj, mi ĵus aŭdis ke ŝi venos. Jes, kaj nun Esperanto, Esperanto starigas frenezajn komentojn. Mi ne scias, ĉu ili estas seriozaj komentoj aŭ ne. Skirbu ĝin. Deak, deak, saluton. Vi estas nova... Mi ne aliĝos. Ankaŭ mi ne aliĝos. Kiel oni diras, which city is close to, or that city? Aŭ kiel oni diras, ĉu iu jam respondis al tiu? Kiu urbo estas proksima al via urbeto? Kiu granda urbo? Mi ne konas ĝin. En kiu parto de la lando, ekzemple? Kristina havas lingvo ekzamenon. Do pri kiu lingvo? Jake? Saluton, vi, li diras ke li estas komencanto de Esperanto. Ah, Rafa, saluton. Kaj nun vi es, estas amuza ke vi estas tie ĉi, kaj vi revenos por esti la honorgasto kaj agrabla ulo dum la vespera elsendo pri la hispana lingvo. Do jen tio, se iu havas demandon pri la kurso, efektive, ehm, mi pensas ke Rafa ankaŭ estas kontribuanto al la angla kurso pri Esperanto, se mi ne eraras, do ke mi ĵus plendis pri frazo, do estas la frazo pri la eklipso. Mi ne scias, ĉu vi aŭdis mian komenton pri tio, sed ŝajnas al mi iom strange ke oni povas spekti eklipson. Do estas demando pri la ĝusta vorto por tio. Kiu urbo estas proksima al? Yes, do mi sam opinias. Which city is close to it? Kiu urbo estas proksima al ĝi? Do bone, do neniu proponis lecionon, do mi simple elektos ilin. Unu. Pri kiu ni lernu hodiaŭ? 
mi serĉos iun kun ajas time. Efektive, do, efektive mi havas ideon, do mi scias, ke oni ŝanĝis la arbon, kaj mi neniam efektive finis la, la novan arbon, do mi simple faros tiun lecionon pri komerco, sed mi uzos la ŝlosilon por um, fari ekzamenon, ĉar mi ne volas fari ĉiun eron de ĝi. Do efektive, do mi, bone. Ni vidu kio ĝi estas. Jump to level one. Mark the correct meaning. You can use a bank store with a credit card. You can open the bank store with a credit card. Do oni povas malfermi la pordon de la banko per credit carto. Esas multaj komentoj pri tiu frazo. Tiu vere estas interesa frazo a la lernantoj. Oni povas malfermi pordon per carto. Efektive, tiu tiu ja okazas. Oh, where's my license? Do mi supozas, tiel la demando estas kia permesilo? Sed jen respondo, ho, kie estas mia permesilo? Do tiu povas esti permesilo por io ajn. Yes, do ho, kie estas mia permesilo? Do mi rekomendas al vi, se vi uzas duolingon, ke vi parolu esperanton, ke vi legu la vortojn. Right, so if you're learning Esperanto and uh, you're doing Duolingo to do the course, a good idea is to read the uh, read the sentences out loud. So, actually, oh, this is a nice long sentence. Um, I've been playing around a little bit trying to um, guess the English sentences without actually um, without actually looking at the translation. Uh, so this one has got to start with I because that's the only capital letter. I haven't looked at the translation the translation yet. So, uh, you know what? This is just silly. There's too many words for here for me to guess. Mi el spezis multe por atingi la congreson, sed mi ege juis gin. Mi el spezis multe. Kion tio signifas? What does it mean? Mi el spezis multe. Mi el spezis. El spezis is el spezi and en spezi. I spent a lot, right? I spent a a lot. Uh, I spent a lot, and so this is the, related to the question we asked before. Is the poor necessary, right? I spent a lot to reach. I think he means reach. So I spent a lot to reach or in order to reach. And in this case, we could say either one, but we don't have in order, so we just have to say to. We, I spent a lot to reach. La Congreson, the Congress, said me ege juis gin, but I really enjoyed it. But I enjoyed it very much. All right. Having some additional issues here. All right. So I was thinking about this. Uh, Rafa and I are going to do a live stream tonight in uh, on Spanish. And this is the first time I planned one in the evening. <laughs> and so my family is going to be home. And I, it occurred to me. I mean, today I haven't given any thought to where is there a quiet part of my house to uh, do this in. And uh, my brother just let himself in the front door, and he's now talking to my son. And uh, <laughs> so I had to go. That doesn't normally happen. All right, here we go. I'm back looking at my dueling. All right. Yes, to me, Cloudy goes. Uh, yes, to me, uh, mi diros tion en Esperanto. Do mi revenis ti. Do uh, mi plas vivan el sendon hodiaŭ. Um, Sed mia familio estos heime, kaj mi devis foriri de la alia ĉambro, ĉar mia frato ĵus venis en la domon, kaj li ne parolas laute, sed li parolas sufiĉe laute, ke mi aŭdas ilin. All right. So let me take a look at the chat in just a minute. Just wanted to let people know that there is the community tabs. I've been really pitching this. This is a good way to keep up with what's new. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is... Uh, Something I just put out there today. This is a screen grab of the video that I'm working on. Uh, yes, Kaila Titolo de la Venonta Filmeto Estos 
Kio estas via laboro? Sed mi pensas que ĝi ne estos preta morgaŭ. Kaj esto tio estas alia afero. Bone. Jess, bonvenon Jess. Sen esperulo, saluton, saluton al ĉiuj. Mi alvenis tro malfrue por aŭdi la plen, uh, aŭdi vian plendon pri tiu frazo pri la eklipso, sed mi spektos la komencon de la filmo poste. Nu bone. Mi esto, efektive. Do vi foje pensas, ke tiuj estas malrapidaj. Do se, se iu havas, do jen la afero, do se vi spektos la, la aferon pli poste, eblas iom mete rapidigi la aferon. Um, en to, en uh, altigi la rapidecon de la filmeto. Kaj tio estas unu maniero fari tion. Au vi povas fari du taskojn samtempe. Do simple lasu ke tiu afero sonu kaj auskultu ĝin kiam vi lavas telerojn aŭ ekzercas vin aŭ stiras la aŭton kaj tio plu. Bone, kaj se neniu havas demandojn, mi faros pli da ekzercoj en Duolingo. Alright, ŝi pretas akcepti la respondecon por ĉio. This one I think we can translate word for word. She pretas. Actually, pretas. Pretas means to be ready. She pretas. She is ready. Accepti. To accept. La respondezon. And that's the direct object. So there's an N in the end. La respondezon. Por chio. For everything. The, um, she pretas accepti la respondezon por chio. And this came up in the Facebook group for Duolingo uh, Esperanto learners. The question is, what are what are the 20 words? Because Lee, Lee, Miller, Lee, Lee Miller says that he has a list of 20 words that he would say as an adjective in English and uh, uh, as a verb in Esperanto. And I'm pretty sure pretas is on one of them. Uh, she pretas. So pretas can be thought of as to be ready. Um, yep. All right, we'll keep going. All right, let's try this, see if we can hear this. Kio causas tian ekonomian shanjon? Kio causas tian ekonomian shanjon? So there's a dreaded correlative in the middle. Kio causas? What causes? Tian ekonomian shanjon. What does tian mean? T-I-A. Tia. That kind of. And actually, that's what the answer is. That kind of ekonomian shanjon, economic change, right? And so, tian ekonomian shanjon is the direct object, so it has the n on all the words there. Kio estas nia plano? Kio estas nia plano? What is our plan? Li havas multain respondezoj. Li havas multain Pardon. Li havas multain respondecoin. Li havas. He has multain many respondecoin responsibilities. He has many responsibilities. So I'm thinking now. Um, last week we had a guest for the Esperanto live stream, and uh, that was uh, um, everyday es everyday Esperanto was on the call with us, and that was a lot of fun. So if anybody's interested in doing that, um, whether you're a fluent speaker or, um, or not, that's, uh, that would be great um, to have somebody uh, joining the call. I can have somebody to talk to. Uh, people watching could listen to more than one voice. Um, might be interesting, you know, if... Um, do efectivo, do se tiwi kiwi plendis pri la crocodilado... Volus proponis, proponis in tio estus interesa afero. Chartiel vi povas montri ala homoj kiel oni sukcesas instrui Esperanton sen krokodili. Do tio estas bon. Tio efektive eblas. Tio ne eblas. Kaj jen alia afero estas ke la homoj kiu spektas um, tion kanalon havas diversajn nivelojn. Do ni devas agnoski tion. Kaj mi efektive supozas ke la homoj kiu volas spekti 
uh, Duolingo exercoin efektive ja estas verai tut freshai komencantoi. Um, kai ili to esas aliai filmetoi en la kanalo kiu helpos alla homoi lerni oni povas vidi aferoin. Do exemple, do efektive nu nu mi parola spetio nu mi volas montri alvi. Do exemple, do yen mia kanalo ni povas veni tien chi al videos do por vidi la filmetoin. Kai mi havas do multain filmetoin lasta tempe mi faras multain vivain el sendoin. Kai mi faras plida aferoi en la angla lingvo, char efektive onis volas spektition. Uh, char la aferoi pri esperanto ricevas plida, vi, plida spektoi o la aferoi en esperanto. Sed ja estas do jen filmeto pri mia Chris Nasko, do jen mia nepo kai, pardon, mia nevo kai mia filino ili faras uh, kukon. Um, do kuk, uh, zingibra, zingibra kukan tometon, ups, mi accidente claqueti sortio. Uh, mi kai mi edzino cantis uh, festa in canto in esperanto. Um, mi malfermas scatolon, kai clarigas cion tie. Do oni pova specti baza in simple in aferoin, aferoin de mia vivo kai tia lerni. Right, but that's not what we're doing here today. So, but uh, anyway, if um, anybody's interested in being a guest, let me know. Send me a private message. Um, yeah. And we can get you on the stream next week. And uh, that's how that goes. All right, anyway. All right, speed round. I'm going to go through the rest of this as fast as I can. Ready? On your mark, get set. Learn. Yes, VI el spezoi estas malaltai, said ankau VI en spezoi. So we go. Your expenses are low, right? Your expenses are low. Your, yes. Your expenses are low. Your expenses, your earnings, your expenses are low. But also your income. But, where's but? But also, but your income. Your earnings are too. There we go. Man, just trying to figure out how to say this in English. Yes, your expenses are low, but your earnings are too. El spezoi, that's money that's spending out. En spezoi, that's spending in, or money coming in. Existas asocioi por comerci esperante. Existas asocioi por comerci esperante. There are. There are. Interesting. There are associations. For commerce, commerci, to probably to do business, do business. There we go. Do business in Esperanto. Existas asocioi por comerci esperante. There are associations to do business in Esperanto. So esperante means in Esperanto. Kiom valoras vi accioi ce la borso? Kiom Kiom, how much? Valoras. Our worth. So probably are your, right? Worth is going to go on the end. VI accioi, your stocks, your shares. Your, sh huh. your stock market shares. Man, there are too many words in this sentence. Your, who makes this stuff up? I love them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. I can't speak English. Oh, somebody help me out here. You know what? That's this. <laughs> Get that one wrong. Here's what they're looking for. How much are your shares on the stock market worth? How much are your shares on the market worth? Oh, my gosh. Did I already talk to you guys about bursitis, or was that uh, in Spanish or German? No, that was German. On the German live stream, I was talking about um, the the German word for stock market is very similar to the Esperanto word, and uh, it actually comes from the Latin word for purse. And I um, um, years ago, somebody was they said, "Oh yeah, my somebody that I know had bursitis," and they said, well, "What's bursitis?" And so as a joke, I, knowing that itis means that something is swollen, I said, "Well, it's a swollen bursa," and. Uh, <laughs> They, they said, well, I don't know what it is. So they looked it up in the dictionary, and it said it's a swollen bursa. And they thought that was really funny that I knew that, uh, when really I just made it up from the sound of the word. turns out uh, bursa is the Latin word for purse, which is so that's why we get the word borso for the stock market. 
and bursitis, which is the a purse shaped, a bag shaped connective tissue that connects your tendons to the muscles. And if it's swollen, it causes extra pain. So there you go. La Fondajo Subtenas Chitiun Proyecton, the foundation, supports this project. Ni ne nepre, o ni ne repagos vian monon, char vi attendis tro longe. So we will not, ni ne repagos, we will not pay. Too many words here again. We will not pay. We will not pay. Oh my gosh, this is more this is more an exercise I'm seeing than it is <laughs> Esperanto. Uh, ni ne repagos. We will not pay your money back. We will not refund. There we go. We will not refund your money. Heck, all right, screw this. <laughs> this is going to be one of those days. We will not refund. That's what I get. Somebody, somebody accuses me of being a crocodile, and then my, my concentration just goes out the window. We will not refund your money because you waited too long. Oh, darn it. We will not refund your money because you waited too... <sighs> yeah, you wait too long. All right. Ne estis industrio en nia lando gis la dudeca yarcento. Ne estis industrio en nia lando gis la dudeca yarcento. There was no industry in our country till the 20th century. There we go. There was no industry in our country until the 20th century. La butico comerzas de frua mateno gis mal frua vespero. La butico comerzas de frua mateno gis mal frua vespero. The shop does business. We had that word before. Comerci means to do business. De frua mateno. Whoops. From early in the morning till late in the evening evening Let's see how that goes all right i like that one the store does business from early morning until late evening la putico comerzas de frua mateno gis malfrua vespero li daure deva subteni sian ex et zinon li daure he can he continues okay here we go he has to he has to he has to keep supporting maybe has to, he still has to support there we go he still has to support there's another one of those one he still has to support his ex-wife actually this is kind of an interesting exercise from my point of view because i spent a lot of time answering questions about these sentences but not always so much doing them in esperanto and uh i can kind of at this point the way things are going today i can kind of see the frustration that some people have um, all right, he li daure devas, right? So the question comes up, what do we mean by daure? Does it mean he still has to, right? So daure, or li ancora devas, right? Um, I'm guessing that the, the sentence probably does, the, the course probably does accept li ancora devas subteni sian ex et zinon. Um, but uh, daure has to do with something that, that has, is going on on a continued continued basis. Um, all right. I feel like I've been doing this for a while. Let me just see how you guys are doing. Oh, yen yop, yop. Mi conas vina efectiva de anta longa tempo en la reto. Do esas bone que vivenas que espectas. Ah, yes. Do esas bone vidi vin. Sed compreneble vine devas lerni esperanton. Que vine devas. Charvian parolas esperanton. So, effectively, yo mi scivolas to kiam vi commensas lerni esperanton. No, anta multa yaro i chune. Mi ne bone memoras. Esperantisto, i donu dick fingron al Tomaso. Tiu ne estas afabla. Ah, boni. We simply salute us unula alian. Do tio esas tute nore. Do ne, do fin. Do coromori saluton. Mi stifolas. 
mi estas provinta aligi ci tiun demandon kaj respondi por la semajnoj. Por semajnoj, sed ĉiam mi estas tro malfrua. Haha. Esto, esto. Mi scivolas pri via bildo. Tio estas inter... Mi apeno povas... Vidi tiun do. Kion signifas tiu bildo? Kio ĝi estas? Uh, oni parolas pri Kentukio, Frankfurt, Frankfurto, Kentukio. Ĉu Twitch havas Duolingo kategorion? Do efektive estis pro io en Twitch, kiu uh, inspiris tiun unuan uh, vivan elsendon pri Duolingo. Mi simple volis provi ĝin kaj oni kaj la homoj revenas ĉiun semajnon, do mi, se oni volas reveni, mi certe faros dik fingron. Ah, estas multaj personoj, kiuj spektas. Kaj estas uh, Jopo Go, el Rusio. Bone. Do se vi, esto bone. No, mi faros, mi finos tiun lecionon, kaj mi revenos a la babileo. Se vi hap komentojn, se vi volas uh, vidi ion, au, se vi volas ke ni diskuti ion. Ah, es, kaj cetere, dankon por la ŝatoj. Mi vidas, kaj jam ok personoj ŝatis tion. Donis la dik... Oh, pardonu, dik fingron, terure, mi vere hontas nun. <laughs> mi pensis ke vi... Do saluton refoje, um, mi ne scias kio okazis, sed Rafa diris ke mi tiom ridis ke mi verŝajne malŝaltis la elsendon, do mi rekomencis ĝin. Mi esperas ke vi ankoraŭ estas tie. Uh, bone, do uh, se vi povas aŭdi di ion, diru mi, tajpu ion, ekzemple mi aŭdas vin, aŭ mi ne, mi ne scias. Uh, bone, mi volas um, kontroli tion. Present to everyone. Kaj, kaj se vi povas vidi mian ekranon, bon volu tajpi, mi povas vidi uh, vian ekranon, au simile. Uh, tio helpos al mi. Bone, kaj mi forgesis kion mi diris. Mi, mi efektive starigis demandon. Um, mi havas demandon por jo 
pogo, char li diris ke li lernas esperanton, kai mi scivolas, ni povas audi vin kai vidi vin bonege. Do yen demando, yen demando por yo po ro, no, yo po go, jpeg, do yo po go, kai li diris ke li lernas esperanton, do kiun kurson vi uzas, au kiun libron vi uzas. Esperanto, Esperanto, diras salutob, do salutob al vi, ĉu vi havas malvarmumon? Bone, jes, do mi ridis tiel laute, ke mi malŝaltis la afero. Mi ne scias, efektive, mi ne scias, kio okazas. Bone, bone, do, jes, mi ridis pro la dik fingro. Ĉiuj esperantisto donu dik fingron kaj plus unu tiun simbolon al Tomaso. Dankon. Espereble la dik fingro montru supren. Bonege, do... Mi volas ripeti, ke tiu viva elsendo efektive estas por vi, kaj do se vi volas vidi ion pli da io, aŭ malpli da io, bon volu diri tion al mi. Kaj se ne estos aliaj sugestoj, mi finos tiun nivelon kaj revenos al la babileo. Kian kompleton mi portu por la intervjuo? Do kompleto estas interesa vorto, ĉar ĝi venas el la vorto kompleta, Kompleta signifas ke ĝi havas ĉion, kion ĝi bezonas. Do kompleto havas almenaŭ du signifojn en la angla. Do unu estas kit, se oni volas, se oni aĉetas tablon el IKEA, ekzemple, oni ne efektive ne ricevas veran tablon, sed oni aĉetas kompleton, kion oni mem devas munti. Oni mem devas fari la tablon el tiu kompleto de Ikea. Bueno, tiu estas unu signifo. La alia signifo estas kostumo, ĉu ne vestaĵoj, kion oni havas, kiuj estas kompletaj. Do, la jako agordas kun la pantalono, kaj tiu estas kompleto. Do, en la angla, suit. Do, kian kompleton mi portu por la intervjuo? What kind of suit? Kian. Kian means what kind of. What kind of suit should I wear? Should I wear? Chu mi portu? Por la intervjuo. For the interview. For the interview. For the interview. Presumably this is a job interview and he's getting dressed up in a suit. Kian kompleton mi portu por la intervjuo. So I just finished reading Sur la Bordo, and that book is in Esperanto, translated from English. Takes place mostly in Australia. And it'd be nice to do a review of that book. But there's this one, well, like several times they talk about wearing a radiation suit. And they use the word completo for suit there. And I don't know whether that's right or wrong, but every time I read that, I just had to laugh. <laughs> A three-piece tailor-made radiation suit. All right. Kia mal sparo. Sparo means that you uh, use only a little bit and save the rest for later. You save things. Mal sparo is a waste. What a waste. What a waste. Kia malsparo. Kia industrioi trovijas en citiu regiono. What kind of? Kia? What kinds of? Interesting. Yeah, it makes sense. What kinds of? That's plural. What kinds of industries trovijas? So trovi means to find something. Trovijas means to be found. Um... And it looks like found is not one of our word choices, so we have to find something that means to be found. Probably are. Right? What kinds of industries are in this region? In Chitiu Regiono, in this area. Uh, what, what, oh, I forgot the word of. Oops. 
Uh-oh, I can only make one more mistake or I won't get my points. Chu vi havas permesilon por en iri nian firmaon. Chu vi havas permesilon. Chu vi havas. Is do you have? A very common question I see is people think that chu means do, right? Because we say chu vi havas, do you have? Uh, but in fact, um, in fact, in fact, um, I'm going to do this just so I can type, right? So usually we say, do you have, what we usually say is, um, you have, as a, as a statement, or a question would say, oh, well, shoot, there goes that point. Anyway, um, I don't get any points. Ah, oh, shoot. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so yeah, so it's you do have permission or, uh, so the statement would be you have permission to enter our firm, enter our company, or permit, you have a permit. Um, and then, so the do, that's, that's the way English works. When you make a question, you can't just say, have you permission to enter? You have to say, do you have permission to enter? So that's sort of like if you, if you take the statement, you do have permission, and change, change the first two words. You do have to, do you have? Not so much for that. Well, how embarrassing. I didn't test out any skills. Okay. I got eight minutes to redeem myself. Fartu bona doesn't mean he's leaving. Oh, GCJ, CJ for you guys. Nun job estas heime. Bone. Robo. Rebon venon. Bone. La germano e pensas que eli inventis kai fondis cion. Bone. Vi ridis pro la dig fingro. Sed vi chiwi donas al chiwi hamburgers. Oh, yes. Germana, Germana Manjajo. Ich bin ein Hamburger. <laughs> ich bin ein Frankfurter. Ich bin ein Berliner. All right. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just noticing in the chat some people uh, had some questions about what the hysterical laughter was before. And that has to do with um, Holly had said, give everybody, give everyone, give Thomas the thumb. And for you know, uh, encouraging people to give a thumbs up to the video. And, uh, by the way, if you like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, and I've misunderstood it. I was thinking it was to give give him the finger. <laughs> and at first, I thought she was just make, uh, making fun of me, and I suddenly realized what, what my what my what my mistake was. All right, McDonald's, McDonald's, La Pingvino. Yes, me memoras vin. Mi legas que chu en la angla is, is it true that? Is it true that? Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Is it true that? Um, I think that's what it says in the 10 lesson email course. Yeah, so Bruhilda. Yeah, in fact, I, uh, I stumbled upon a replay of Bruhilda's um, live stream, and uh, wish, uh, she and I follow each other on Twitter. So we've talked about this as well since then. Um, and uh, I, I saw this thing, and she was just uh, there doing her stream um, as she's going through Duolingo. And I thought, why on earth would anybody watch this? <laughs> Quite honestly. And uh, but I watched it for a little bit, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see that. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, that's why we're, that's why I'm here, looking to. Uh, so when you guys go back and do your Duolingo that you'll recognize some of these sentences. Um, I think it would be a good idea if you guys want to work on your own Duolingo, right, at the same time. All right, I've got five minutes to try to get some points today. <laughs> and uh, then I need to wrap this up and get ready for a lesson. I'm teaching a, a lesson on italki a little bit. I'm going to do, rather than, um, uh, you know what, I'm going to do... Uh, a regular lesson 
so I can at least get something in my next five minutes. Tiu kuracisto okupas gravan postenon en la malsanuleo. That doctor occupies an important position. Pose in the hospital. All right. The boy received medicines after the accident. La knabo, the boy, received medicines. Ritsevis, accusative case, it's the direct object. Medicamentoin, after the accident. Post la accidento. Post la accidento. Recently, I decided not to smoke cigarettes anymore. Antao ne longe mi decidus. That's weird. I don't like that one already. Because decidus mean would decide. Let's try a different one. Lasta tempe mi decidis ne plu fumi cigaretoin. I think that's correct. There we go. Ding, ding. The actor held a cigarette between his lips. Actor is actoro. So, la actoro held the tennis cigaretoin. He tennis cigaretoin, but it's only one. So, the tennis cigaretoin between inter ci lipoi. Yeah, this is another reason why the word tiles is so much easier because your only choice for the pronoun, second to last word there, was ci. But yeah, it needs to be CI because he the actor it's the actor's lips. And CIA is called the third person reflexive. Um and again, that's one of those that's a, that's one of those things that I think the, the grammatical terminology actually, actually helps. Third person means he, she, it, or they. So to basically anybody we can talk about, but not to. Right? So we're talking about the actor, so that's third person. Um, and reflexive means it refers back to this reflects back to the subject, which in this case is la actoro. So it's the actor's lips, litenis cigaretton inter ci lipoi. I'm not going to get this done. <laughs> there we go. Speed round. He likes beer too much and drinks as often as possible. Li shatas bieron. Li tro shatas bieron. Bieron kai. Trinkas kiel ple kiel pl kai trinkas kai drinkas. Interesting. It's hard not to comment on the on the sentence. Kiel eble ple ofte. Litro shatas bieron kai drinkas. Kiel eble ple ofte. Kiel eble ple ofte. Drinkas means to booze it up. Litro shatas bieron and goes out on benders as often as he can. Okay. Do not drink so much. Ne trinkutium. Ne drinkutium. Oh, man. I don't... I'm not comfortable with these sentences, right? Drinku already means drinking too much. <laughs> yeah, don't go out on so many benders, I think might be a way to uh, translate this. All right. I would. I think that means a little different than in Esperanto than it does as it does in English. Medicines do not treat everything. Oh man, this is another one that I think is there's a problem with. Oh, you know what, Rafa? I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> Medicamento ne curazas. This is another uh, misnomer here. A curazisto is not a healer. A curatsisto is somebody who treats illness. If you if you get sick and die of your illness, he still he still treated it. <laughs> he didn't treat it successfully, or she didn't treat it success successfully. Um, yeah, medicamento e ne curatsas chion. But I guess the English is just as just, the English sentence is just as funny. Medicines don't treat everything. Tap what you hear. All right, let's, you know what? Let's, this is, let's make this our last one because this is, I like doing this. I'm going to play it again. 
Right. Did everybody understand that? Yugisto. I'm going to listen to that one more time, make sure I heard it right. Pro sanai kialoi, pro sanai kialoi, she chesis labori, she chesis labori, kiel yugisto, kiel yugisto. All right, well. All right, looks like we got, looks like, Shainas que estas conversacioi en la Babileo. Do mi, vere, ne volas bremsi la conversacion, sed mi efectiva devas fini la el sendon. Do se vi havas lasta en comento, en nun estas la tempo taipitiun, a la alia persona, se vi en faras tiun. Um, yes, que tio estas chio por mi, por odio, que, uh, Se vi volas uh, lerni iom da uh, hispana, revenu hodiaŭ je la, mi pensas ke estas la, je la oka kaj duono, laŭ la, laŭ la Novjorka horzono, mi pensas ke tio estos terure malfrue en Eŭropo, aŭ eble eĉ uh, do post, nu, nu, tio estas post ses horoj, ses horoj kaj duono, do espere, mi, mi ne scias ĉu vi ankoraŭ estos vekaj tiam, uh, do sen esperulo, ne dankinde, estas plezuro vidi vin, kaj mi dankas vin por spekti. Do, gis reviro.